Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you have all been staying safe and well. We're uh, prepared to make another dish that is, I think, very, very simple and very traditional American dish, meat and potatoes, Texas kind of meat, uh, meal. And for that, we're going to do a variation of what is very popular that is called the Mississippi roast. Uh, it's my version of a Mississippi roast anyway. And with that, we're gonna have, of course, a potato dish and a side of broccoli. So follow along and hope you'll enjoy it. So I have like a two and a half pound of chuck roast. I use chuck roast for my pot roast. It comes out most flavorful. And I am just going to season it with some black pepper, uh, cayenne pepper, just for a little kick based on how much you and your family would like, and some onion powder. Just uh, mix it all on here and uh, keep it in, the, in your pot. You can put it in the refrigerator until you're ready to make it and be done with it. So once your meat is marinated, you stick it into the pot that you are going to bake it in. This is actually a great dish to make in a crock pot. You can put all of this together the night before and then just plug it in when you about two to three hours before you're ready to eat. I'm making it in a Dutch oven today. So I have my meat already in there and I'm just going to put the rest of my items in, in, the, in the Dutch oven. I have a packet of au jus seasoning mix. Just throw it right in. Uh, couldn't get any easier than this. All, all you do is throw it in. A packet of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. So again, just throw it right in, uh, the whole packet. Um, I have about uh, two pounds of meat here, so that's probably um, a good, uh, I'm gonna just put use half because it is a smaller portion. If I was using about four uh, pounds, I'd use the whole thing. It has a lot of salt, so this is why I'm very cautious with the amount of season, the salt that I put in my meat. And then a packet of Lipton onion soup mix, just throw it in. And I'm done with that. Then I have a whole bunch of vegetables that I have already chopped up here. Um, about one onion, chopped big. So just throw it right in. Some celery stalks. Nothing to do except to cut all the celery, a whole bunch of carrots. This is about two large carrots, so right into my pot it goes. A few potatoes cut, um, small, so about that size. Just throw it all into your pot. And finally, this is the last bit. Put a whole bunch of peppersini uh, peppers. Uh, this is a pepper that isn't very spicy at all, but it has a great flavor and this vinegar uh, flavor with the water. Just put a whole bunch in here and cover it up and stick it in the oven for 300 and, at 350 for about two, two and a half hours or in a crock pot on high for about two hours. And we'll be done. So for one of our sides today, we're gonna make a twice baked potato. And a twice baked potato is really just a mashed potato with a whole bunch of stuff in it. Normally this items that you would find on a baked potato mixed together um, and put into a baking dish, baked for a few minutes and it is just delicious. So for um, our twice baked potato, I have um, boiled potatoes here that I have already mashed. I've added my salt and my pepper and I'm gonna add a little bit of cheddar cheese, uh, sour cream, milk. So this is for the way I'm gonna make it today. What you could do, you can do so many different variations. To make this dish a little bit more richer, you can add cream cheese. This is a really great um, feature. You can add additional butter. I've already put butter in here as well. Um, you can also make it a little garlicky. If you like garlic mashed potatoes, uh, you can add garlic powder. The other great thing that uh, we like to do sometimes in our family is uh, add pickled jalapenos, and that comes out phenomenal as well to give it a little bit of a kick. So you just, I'm gonna mix it all of it together, put it in my baking dish, um, put some more cheese on top at the very, um, at the very end, cover it in with oil, stick it in the oven on 350 for about 15, 20 minutes, just for that cheese to melt, and that's it. Okay, so for our final side, we're gonna do roasted broccoli. This is a really easy dish, you do it in the oven. You could do it on the stove top as well, but I like to do it in the oven, it's no mess on the stove top. So just cut up your flowerettes, your broccoli flowerettes here, put it in your baking dish, um, then just sprinkle a little bit of um, onion powder, gar granulated onion, um, garlic powder, salt, and pepper, and 
drizzle with some olive oil, mix it all in, stick it in low broil for about uh, five minutes or so, just so that it has a little bit of a wilt on the broccoli and then you're all done. Okay, so my roast is all done. Two and a half hours or so in the oven. Um, and it is very juicy. There's a lot of good gravy in here. So I'm just going to kind of plate it. So I'll take my roast out, pull it apart on me. Um, and this is where you can just scoop up all of the vegetables that you have. You can do it in two different ways. You can put it all around the meat, which I like to do, it's kind of colorful. Uh, or you can put it on another serving dish and serve it, however way you like. There's some good gravy in here that you can also put onto the side. So I have a, a, sli a slotted, slotted spoon that I'm gonna take all of the potatoes and the vegetables out on and then uh, put the gravy on the side. So I've taken all my meat out and dressed my, um, put my vegetables around it. I wanna use the rest of this gravy. So with my slotted spoon, I'm taking out all of the onions and the celery, which uh, most people don't like to eat. Some like to eat the onions, but I think it's just um, too clunky in there, in the vegetable, it doesn't look very nice. So I'm just taking it all out so I can use all this gravy as uh, gravy for the roast. Okay, we have our meal all together. So here uh, I took the twice baked potatoes out. I sprinkled it with some chives. You can do whatever greens that you have in your garden or at home. And I sprinkled some paprika on it so it gives it a little color. Our, uh, our roasted uh, broccoli is out of the oven. And here is my gravy that I just pulled right out of the um, Dutch oven and our vegetables and our meat. Doesn't it just look absolutely amazing? So um, we're ready to serve. I do have to give credit for the roast. Um, my, it was my cousin Sandy who uh, found the recipe. And of course I doctored it up a little bit, but I'll have to give her credit. So I hope you guys enjoy, God bless you. Please let us know if uh, you try this recipe at home. We would love to see your pictures and your modifications. Feel free to try different things. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.